Hello again, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So hit subscribe if you'd like to join the fun and paint along. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Okay, so this week is our last painting class before Christmas, uh, and I thought it would be a really fun painting to uh, do some ornaments that are totally customizable and really simple and fun. So I have my three standard brushes for this painting. I am gonna start with the background step, and the colors that I have on my palette here are yellow, I have an ultramarine blue, bright orange, and then black and white. I'm going to use these to mix this uh, neutral brown color that I'm going to do for my background step. Keep in mind that you can also just buy brown if it's a little bit too tricky to mix it. I have my three standard brushes here that I use for most, most paintings. Uh, my large square brush, I have a medium sized pointed brush and a small brush. I'm gonna put those in my water cup off the screen. Check the description box below for a full materials list of everything that you'll need to paint along each week. Okay, let's start with our big square brush. We're gonna start in the center of the canvas here, but we're gonna mix up a brown. So the way that I'm gonna do that is go across the color wheel by mixing together orange and blue. That's gonna create a kind of neutral tone. Okay, little bit by little bit there. Okay, that's almost brown. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to kind of bring it more into the beige direction. And then also a little bit of white to lighten it up and a little bit of black to kind of tone it down a bit. So yeah, definitely the browns are the hardest colors to mix. So definitely don't be afraid to just buy brown. <laughs> it's a little bit more of like an intermediate type step here to create this pretty color. I'm gonna lighten it just a little bit more. I'm gonna start in the center here and just getting that paint kind of on the canvas. And that's actually a little bit too bright still. So I'm gonna grab some white and kind of just blend it right on my canvas. I want a nice neutral brown like so. Kind of moving my brush all around in each different direction. I'm just getting that all filled in. I'll take a little bit more white now, just into the center part, and create what's going to be a little bit of a highlight kind of area in the center. And I'm going to add another pinch of black and make a little bit more of like a cool grayish brown. And I'm going to use that around these outside edges. Okay, so we're just working with neutral colors here because we're going to be adding greenery and our colorful ornaments. So I think that this kind of balances everything nicely. And it's good to develop that dexterity get your brush going and your hand moving. Okay, this is just the background snap and maybe this is like a wall with a nice kind of antique little finish on it. It's kind of where my head's at, my imagination. Okay, I'll take the rest of that white there and just lighten that up a pinch more. Probably should have gotten a little bit more white, but that's okay. We'll go with it. Just making it how I like. Okay, that looks pretty good. A little bit more. Okay. And once you have your background step looking pretty good, we're gonna let this dry and we're gonna come back and add a whole bunch more. So I'll see everybody in a few. Okay, welcome back artists. I have a mostly a dry canvas and fresh colors, black and white here, as well as red, phthalo green, 
yellow and blue. I washed my brushes at break and also got some fresh water. And I'm going to start now by doing a little bit of a layout um, so that we can kind of space out where we want to have our ornaments and then we can kind of decorate around them. So let's go ahead and do that with white. I'm going to use my small brush for that and make sure I have a little bit of water in the paint so that it keeps the paint nice and smooth. Now I'm going to have a round ornament pretty much as the centerpiece here. Maybe a little bit kind of lower than the center. Okay, so I'm going to try to do a round circle here as best as I can. Keep in mind you can use like a cup or a bowl or something circular in your house if you'd like to have the perfect circular shape. But mine looks pretty good if I do say so myself. Then I'm going to have two more ornaments that are kind of slightly further up um, to kind of center the whole little composition here. Uh, and one is going to be a little bit longer and the other is going to be a little bit fatter. So I'm going to start kind of creating one side. This is going to be the sort of long icicle looking one. And then it's a little bit trickier to match it on the other side. I feel like that should actually come in a little bit more steep like so. Feel that looks better. And bring it around. You can kind of correct the shape with a few little outlines like so. But it's okay if they look a little bit whimsical and a little bit wonky. <laughs> uh, and then pretty much the same kind of shape over here but fatter. Okay, kind of like a spaceship one. Okay, like so. It's going to be right next door. That's okay. We're just going to go ahead and go with that and see how it turns out anyway. Okay. Just creating a shape. Yeah, and we'll just have this one be even bigger maybe so that it can take kind of center stage. Kind of spacing them out like that. And then I'm going to go from the top part here just to see where I would have the uh, kind of strings that are attaching our ornaments. Okay. And now I'm going to take my medium sized brush and, go, and I'm going to go ahead and fill in those ornaments. So let's do this front one with red. And I'm not even going to mix it with any other color, just red on its own. Okay. I want to make sure not to cover up too much of that back ornament that I got a little too close there because I want to make sure I can get my whole word on there. Okay. Just to the edge, like so, just getting it filled in. And then once you have it filled in all nice, I'm just going to grab a little bit of white and kind of go with the curvature of the circle here, and that's going to give us a little bit of depth. Okay, pretty subtle step. If you kind of overdo it, you'll end up with pink, which is certainly not the end of the world. But if you want that nice Christmas red, you got to stay a little bit more light handed. Okay, that looks cute. Okay, and then you can create these whatever color you like, really. I'm going to go ahead and use a light green for the one here on the right, which is a very Christmassy color as well. Nice, bold, bright color. Really like that. Okay, just a little bit of water in there as always helps the pink go nice and smooth. 
And since we're going to be outlining these ornaments later, I'm not really stressing out about bringing this color all the way out to cover some of the sketch line. So you can still kind of see some of that sketch line here, the white. I'm not going to worry about that too much. What I'm trying to do is just kind of even out my shape. It's kind of more my focus there. And then in the same way that we highlighted the red, we're going to highlight this beautiful minty guy here too. Just a little bit of white there. Right down the center and kind of on both sides. Very nice. Just a little bit of depth there. And then we'll do the one on the left here with a nice light blue. Okay, so blue mixed with white here. Nothing too complicated. This is a simple painting today. Okay, bringing that out to create as even of a shape as we can. And again, this one is going to be behind our red one, which I'm actually not hating so much anymore. Kind of interesting. Okay. Very nice. All right, getting that all filled in. And then I'm going to leave these ornaments alone for a bit. And we'll add some greenery. Trying to get a nice, even little swoop, like so. Okay, gotta add a little bit of highlight onto that one too. Gonna bring the brushes in the direction of your sheet. Okay. That looks good. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of festive greenery now, kind of along the top part and the bottom. I'm going to do that by taking a little bit of yellow into my light green mix here. So that was my phthalo green and white mixed together. And we're going to create a nice kind of grassy green. About like so, that looks perfect. And this is, actually it's not holly, uh, it's mistletoe. So we're gonna create these kind of long leaves like so. And they will have kind of the stem here that they connect to. You kind of just push your brush down and then trail it off. Okay, like so, to create those leaves, similar to like bamboo. If you've ever done a bamboo painting. Okay. Building our greenery, like so. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna try to do the same kind of thing on the other side. You can certainly create that stem with your tiny brush if you would prefer a little bit more control. But I'm just working with my medium-sized brush today. It's already looking very festive. Pushing the brush down and then lighter pressure. Bringing it into the stem like so. Okay. All right, that looks good to me. And I'm gonna do the same thing here up at the top. Create a little stem that comes off the side. Pushing the brush down and then pulling it to come to a nice point. Just framing our little ornaments here, bringing some brush strokes off 
The edge always looks nice too. Bringing the composition right off the edge like so. Okay, a little bit more of that color. And the same thing over here. Okay, little stem, just a few brush strokes. And each area can be unique. They don't need to look identical. And in fact, it's better if they don't. A little bit more. Okay. Looking good. Now, real quick, right on top of that color, let's take a little bit of a lighter version with our tiny brush. Just going to grab some white over here. So it's the same kind of color, but just a few shades lighter. We're just going to add a quick highlight. So just go into each one of these leaves and just do another little quick pass of color. And you can do some along the stem as well. This is some wet on wet blending. We're really having fun now. And mixing the colors together. Looks very whimsical very cute perfect and then up top as well just here and there pretty much just one brush stroke in each little area okay looks great and now let's create a second type of greenery, which is going to be our little pine area. Okay, so I'm going to take this beautiful piney green. I'm going to mix just a little bit of black into it. Don't want to get too, too dark. Want to make sure it's nice and green still. Okay, and then just a few little brush strokes kind of right on top in some of these areas. You're going to kind of overlap that mistletoe area. And the way that you create these pine needles is just a really slight little flick of the wrist. And they kind of come in like little pairs or trios, kind of little groups together. And then there's like a little bit of space in between some of these needles. And you want them to actually be pretty even all the way out, rather than having like a varying brush stroke pressure and like having shapes that are very fat at the base and then thinner. So you actually kind of want even, as, as well as you can, pine needles. Little tiny flicks of the wrist, very much like a feather kind of shape here. And it's okay if your greenery blends together slightly. It's all just green, so that's no problem there. Very, very light pressure. I just think that looks so pretty. Okay, the lighter the pressure, the better here. Okay, creating a beautiful little kind of wreath feeling. Let's do a line over here as our center part here for our little sprig of pine. Very cute, and just bringing it across each area. Let's do one more. And just creating a few layers of beautiful decorative greenery. Looks very nice. I like to have that big red bulb in the center. I think that looks really nice. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing up top. Just making sure we got this all finished down here. Okay. And then same idea up top. Now I'm doing this, what feels kind of like upside down. 
So you could certainly flip your canvas over. It will make it a little bit easier, but I'm not gonna go upside down on you guys today. I'm going to challenge myself to stay right side up, but you can move your canvas all around when you're painting. I encourage you to. Okay, yeah, see they're not, they're not quite as neat when I'm doing them this way. For some reason, it's easier for me to do them coming up. Okay, but they still look really cute. And just a few brush strokes this direction. And we'll just create our little pine needles looking adorable. Very festive. If you are painting along today, I created a Facebook group for my students to share their work, whether it be from painting along with me on Saturdays or just from your own studio, from your imagination. I would love to have you join us over there. There is a link in the description box below to join that. Very, very fun and positive space for artists of any skill level, experience level. Okay, that looks great. How cute is this looking? Okay, so final little touch in our greenery area is going to be a few little red berries. Kind of gives it that holly feeling, but like I said, this is actually mistletoe, which does create little berries. They can be red or white. Okay, just a few cute little red dots will look so festive. Okay, loving it. Very, very pretty little greenery area here. Really like how it turned out. So Christmassy and super easy to do. Okay, just a few across the top. You can have however many you like. I think that really balances the color nicely as well. Adorable. All right, let's go back into our ornaments for a little bit. We're gonna do a few things to kind of finish them off. So the first part, we're gonna create a little like attacher guy. I don't know what these are called, but like a little hat. I'm gonna create that with white and then I'm gonna grab a little bit of black and just kind of outline it like so. And do a few little brush strokes coming down as well. And then right on top of the white line, you can have a black line that comes down to attach these guys instead. Looks a little bit more solid. And we're letting this be kind of sketchy and letting that white line exist as well. We're not gonna stress out about that. I'm gonna come down and just bring that black line to the top parts here of my ornaments, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do a nice little black outline around each of my ornaments as well, just to make them really pop and kind of make everything look a little bit more illustrative. Very nice. Kind of revisiting our original sketch lines and making everything look nice and neat and clean. Okay. Looks good. And same thing around your red. Being as careful as I can. Trying to keep that nice circular shape. Okay. 
you can brace your hand too during steps like these that are a little bit more delicate. Okay, super cute. There we go. I tend to hold my breath when I do <laughs> these kind of brush strokes. Okay, bringing this around. Home stretch here, everybody. Just a few little details here and there now. Everything's gonna kinda come together. Very, very cute. Okay, now I'm going to choose what I want to write in my ornaments. Now you can write whatever kind of message that you'd like. I'm going to go with the words peace, love, and joy. Uh, there's a lot of different messages that you could write in here. If you're a parent, you could write your children's names or well, get creative, whatever you would like. And I'm going to kind of start try to center my words. I don't want to get too big with them. So I'm going to write joy on my kind of smaller one space wise. I'm going to do a little bit of cursive. You can use whatever kind of font or handwriting you like. Joy, love, love, there we go. Okay, very cute, love it, <laughs> can I go back over this J real quick, make him a little bit bigger, okay, and peace over here, okay, looks pretty good. Didn't want to run out of room over there and get too close to my red ornament. But that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way this is turning out. Okay, that looks great. Now I'm gonna rinse my brush. I'm going to go back in my greenery a little bit and add a few more little final touches with white. If I can find some clean white under there, a lot of different colors in there going on, but I think I have enough to work with. So with that white, I'm gonna kind of come in here and add a few little swipes in my mistletoe greenery. And then I'm also going to do a little shine mark on each of my little berries, super cute. And then I'm also going to add some white here on my pine, just right on top as if it is snow. Super cute, right? Okay. In each little area, pretty much. You don't want to cover all your greenery, so make sure that you have some visible still. Okay, but that really accentuates the shape there. And I think just looks so festive. Very cute, kind of just bringing some white into each area. Maybe it's snow, maybe it's a highlight. Okay, I got myself a little bit more clean white there since it was all getting kind of green pretty quick. And just going in each of those little areas and adding that super cute highlight. Okay, bringing it up top as well. Cute little final details that really bring everything together. We don't need to be too careful with this step 
think it looks good, kind of sketchy and loose. It's stylized. Just a few more little details. So cute. Can't wait to see what messages you've written in your ornaments. Okay, and now just bringing a little bit of clean white down into our ornaments as well. I'm going to create a few little shine marks around the sides, like so, in each one. So cute. And I'm going to take a little bit more black here and just sort of darken some areas to make sure that's nice and bold. And you can also take a little bit of white if you want, kind of bring it into a few parts of your words. And that adds a nice little element there too, I think. Kind of like perhaps they were etched. And I think that having the black and white just makes it a little bit more visible and easier to see. Just going to clean up this little guy real quick. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Just want that to be a little bit of a better shape and this to be a little bit straighter of a line. Okay, that looks pretty cute. Very simple painting today. Let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below. I would love to see you over in the art club. And that is all I have for everybody today. So until next time, stay creative.